Fox. All right, well. Okay, we're going to get into uh, Midlands Fight Club round th winners round three. We've got Lucrecio versus Critical for our next set. Now, both of these players have recently moved here from London to uh, the Midlands to uh, for various reasons. I think mainly uni. So we're looking at two London players who have come to an unfamiliar environment, set out to play each other, and we're going to once this is. Once this bracket set's done, we're going to be seeing them move on to uh, probably play some more prominent Midlands players. We've got Shadow Warrior, we've got DK Ho, we've got a couple of other people sitting around to play friendlies. We're going to get into game one now, and we have gone to Pal Omega Palatine's Tempo. Now, uh, Lucretio has opted for the Olimar pick against Fox. Uh, quite Actually, I'm not surprised that he's gone for this. I mean, Olimar is quite light. He's going to be able to escape the combat. Uh, Fox's frame traps easier. He is going to die earlier, though, so he's going to have to watch out for that up smash. But it looks like he's doing a, the pick is paying off at the minute. He's able to escape all these combos with fairly minor damage. Wow. He's just jabbing through the Pikmin. What is going on? There we go. Fortunately, though, down for a fair isn't going to work because of Fox's uh, gravity. The gravity is going to stop him from going too high to uh, avoid the... Um, Right, that's going to allow him to avoid the down the fair follow-up. Well, it's looking it's looking like a not too. Oh, there we go. Misses the fair footstool. Lucrecio recovers, but at this point, Crit still has a decent lead, and he's got Lucrecio running, which is what he wants. He wants to be able to keep Lucrecio running, make him commit to an option, dash in with dash attack, get a conversion. And here we go, Lucrecio making a move of his own. Misses the down air, obviously predicting a side beat, not getting it. There we go. He's done a good job of bringing these percents back, oh, just as I say that. One back air. All it takes, all it takes. And there we go, down smash is going to take the first stock. Now, we're looking at quite a... This is quite a deficit, actually, for uh, Lucretia. I mean, Olimar, Olimar's going to struggle to... Uh, struggle to make such a big deficit back unless Lucrecio gets something soon. Because I mean, every little bit of percentage got, you know, he's adding on rage, unless he gets the kill nice and soon. And already he's on 53% with a bit of rage. So that's going to uh, factor in Lucrecio's early demise, given that Olimar is so, so light. Misses the F smash, gets the down smash. Not going to kill though. Oh, follows him off stage. Not going to be enough though. And gets back on stage, absolutely fine. Lucretio just let him get back on stage there. Lucretio just trying to get, make some more space, get some more stage control. Great, not giving it to him. Gets F smash. That's going to be first stock. Okay, so now Lucretio really needs to step, step, step the gears up. Make sure he gets something tangible. Up oh, there, you go. Never mind. Up smash going to take game one. That's game one to critical. Okay, so we're going to go, uh, now the stage pick is in Fox's hands, so Fox is going to benefit from this extra just one pick in DSR. Looks like we've gone to Dreamland. Okay, we're going to get into game two, and this is going to be a great map for Fox. I mean, Fox can get a lot of up-air follow-ups, Rob being a character with somewhat questionable disadvantage means that he's going to... Oh, dear. Ooh, Magnet Hands saves him there. That was so, so scary for uh, Critical. Imagine losing a stock like that right from the get-go. That would have been a um, that would have been quite unfortunate. But this pick into Rob is actually looking a lot, lot better for uh, Lucrecio than the pick in the Olimar pick in game one. Gets up it. Miss times a grab. Doesn't get anything off it. Just kind of pushing him away with a gyro. Set up something on the stage. There we go. It's gyro to uh, up air. Up. Oh. Catches him on the platform with up smash. That's going to be stuck one gone. That's quite surprising that this rob man, that this rob pick is actually working a lot, lot better for uh, a lot, lot better for Lucrecio, considering that uh, I mean rob, rob is fairly big and heavy, so Crit should be able to get a decent combo off him. Should be able to deflect the gyro with downbeat. 
much. I feel like uh, Lucrecio has a little bit too much fear going in. He's just waiting for uh, Lucrecio to commit to something just so we can get a big punish. Lucrecio is just kind of taking advantage of that. Just pressuring him with these projectiles. Oh, here we go. Dreamland pick coming in. Now. See, now, now that Crit's got a little bit of a... Oh, dear. Lou. <laughs> this is why you don't let Lou go to Dreamland, folks. Lou bringing the score up to one all with a awkward, wispy down throw. That was, my friend, Rob's down throw. Was it? Lou, is that down throw? Lou, is that down throw? Was that down throw? Was that up throw? That was up throw, folks. My bad. Yep, that's what. That's Lou's special. That's the Lou special. Did you not know? He loves doing that. Horses. Right, okay, we're going to get into game three here. Uh, we've gone for a Town and City pick. Looks like um, we've opted for the same character picks. Now, Lou's obviously not going to have the Wispy Woods assist. Just a second. Okay, so it looks like we're going to... Uh, oh, Lucrecio's gaining an awful lot of momentum very, very fast. It's just kind of keeping out with the gyro. Not deflect... Funny, funny enough, Crit isn't actually deflecting anything here. So we could be seeing... Um, Looks like it's going to be a fairly touch and go game for Crit right now. There you go, finally gets the jab combo off. Not going to, be, not going to do an awful lot though. He needs to really get one of Fox's uh, famous frame traps to pull out this, to pull away from this deficit. We're looking like this is looking very much in uh, the pressure stuff. Misses the fair footstool, gets footstooled himself. That's going to be stuck one. Barely misses the uh, ledge there. Now Crit needs to maintain his composure to uh, make sure he doesn't lose this game. Otherwise he's gonna let otherwise he's gonna give Lou a free win, which obviously nobody wants. Well, Lou wants, but you know, you know, you know. It's just feeling each other out of neutral now. Lou's just trying to play a uh, keep away game. Just, just try and get Fox to uh, approach, punish him with the uh, gyro. Well, that down there wasn't gonna obviously wasn't gonna kill. Not enough uh, not enough percentage on Fox just yet, but it you know, gave Lou a little bit of sage control, which is what Lou probably needed in this uh, situation. But now though, Crit really needs to get this kill off the top. Still not getting it. Goes for the up smash misses. Ooh. It's looking rough right now. There we go. Down, down air, up smash. That's going to be the uh, first stock. Now, Crit's actually managed to keep a decent uh, decent percentage difference between the two. Ah, uh, missing the, uh, miss the slam off jab. Drops his shield too early, gets hit by Gyro. Here we go. Now, he's opting for a lot of these uh, safer conversions off a of jab. We're not seeing an awful lot of like dash attacks, up tilts, that kind of stuff. You probably kind of expect Fox to use. Go. Just for down tilt. Okay, enough. Yeah. Okay, he's managed to even up the percents. There we go. Here we go. Here comes the conversion. Down smash from Lucrecio. Flex the gyro. It's off stage. Space it with a bear. Down throw. That's an up throw. My bad. I'm really sorry. I, I, I need to study more, Rob. My bad. Now we're looking at pretty even percents here. Either of these two could kill each other very, very easily. Ooh, crit go. Crit predicting with the... Uh... Nope, not going to be it. Only just. There we go. Down air spikes. Takes critical out. That's going to be Lucrecio advancing on to round four, which I believe is winner's semis.